My name is Brian Anderson. I work at Johnson Space Center and I work at, on the capsule parachute assembly system, the CPAS system or the, for the Orion parachutes. And uh, I am currently serving as the acting deputy project manager. The parachute system, its job is to essentially slow the capsule down from going several hundred miles an hour down to about 17 miles an hour when it splashes down in the ocean. Um, becomes a pro If the parachutes don't work uh, in one phase or another, then that can either mean uh, loss of the vehicle or loss of the crew. Um, it's, um, there's no backup system to the parachute system. Uh, although in, within the parachute system, we do have some redundancy in that we can function on, you know, one drogue parachute or uh, with one uh, main parachute that's been lost. So uh, we can land under two main parachutes and still meet the landing requirements. Um, but parachutes themselves are very uh, chaotic. Uh, it's they're very challenging. Um, it's been said that parachutes are the only system that uh, assemble themselves mid-air and because of the requirements that we have with human spaceflight, we have to uh, deploy under a really wide range of conditions from very low velocities up to very high velocities. And because of that, um, uh, because of that wide range of operational uh, parameters, uh, it it's, it's very tricky and it causes a lot of, uh, of risk that can go into the system if you don't test that system out well.